Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat and we are back in Portal Knights. And I uh, played this a bit off camera yesterday. I leveled up twice. Takes a bit to level up, but I was using my, my worm method where I take on the first boss over and over again. And uh, the, first, the first boss drops items. And it's, I don't know how many items are in the loot pool, but I got several and I'm about to show you. But in this episode, we're going to start off with upgrading our materials. We got, uh, I farmed a bunch of iron yesterday. Alright, so here's the inventory. Alright, so this is the new worm items. Let's take out monkey. Captain Pickles. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, the worm dropped a basalt sharpening stone, which is uh, the next step up from the uh, stone sharpening tools. So these are better. See, it does 440 durability for all items in the action bar. That has damage or wear and tear, and this one does about uh, six, uh, 260. If it was 600, that'd be crazy. And I got this uh, Ring of Storms, Armor 40, Electro Damage, Resistance plus 10%, and Mana plus 35. That's kind of neat, actually. It gives you some armor plus mana, so your mana bar will be jumped up. I got an Orb of Incandescence, uh, 50 mana, and 56 attack damage, Mage. Deals fire elemental damage, strong versus earth, multi-strike chance 10%, and additional strikes plus one. And I got a recipe for miner's boots. And I got another one of those Holloway Elsa's pistol. And I got a sword of Ulrich the Unlucky. It's 56 damage, mage. Deals uh, earth elemental damage, strong versus electro, mana regeneration plus eight, and mana plus 40. So if you're a mage, this and this will be very handy. Or even this. These are the same damage, but this one costs mana, 50 mana per attack, or, I don't know what that means, does that give you 50 mana, or is it, I don't know, but I'm ranger, so I can't use these two, let's go ahead and use this, uh, boots recipe, I've used this pistol before, you guys have seen that, I'm gonna equip this ring, even though I'm not a mana user, still having a ring with extra defense and extra mana is pretty cool. So you get this from the uh, worm boss fight, so it's worth it. What is my armor rating? 341. And my health is 607. Currently 99 attack. Speed currently 108. And you just see I just leveled up to 17. I'm right at the beginning again. Yeah, the worm was giving me 2800 EXP. About 2830 or 2850. It's not bad. Not bad, but with 30,000 uh, required experience to level up, it's a lot. Alright, see all this iron I got. I got 220, and I made two bars. And you do need this palm amber. I knew it. I'm going to go ahead and give myself all this. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at the bottom. Surrounding Mr. Pickles. Now I spent a couple hours farming all this. It took a bit. This basalt right here will allow me to make those uh, sharpening tools. But you need to upgrade your uh, either the workbench or the anvil. I don't need this copper. And this is my old pair of pants because when I was playing offline or off camera yesterday, I had to do a mission because it was time limited. It opened up this right here, the Isle of to uh, Tobolus. There was a... Uh, island here the mission started here and it had like a little uh roman building right here and it had 10 hours to complete that's a lot of time but by the time i was going to record again the mission would have been over so i did it off camera i would like to do it. if it ever reappears i'll do it on camera hopefully it'll be at the right time but it transports you to this new place over here where you got to do three trials eat one of them's parkour trial a combat trial and a like exploration trial where you got to find your way through a maze of sand and whatnot to get to the exit and you got to ring a bell at each at the end of each one and after the bell is rung then you go talk to the main guy and then he opens up this island right here and i'll show you guys that after i get done building my equipment all right so we're going to upgrade this table which cost four palm amber which i only got five ten logs two iron bars 
This allows me to build better tools. All right. There's this new uh, workbench two gives me that new miner's boots. What does it do? Mining plus uh, mining damage plus ten, so you can mine a little bit faster. But its armor is not great. Is this dead eye stuff the better stuff? One hundred one, one thirty four. No. Better on this though. Huh. Does uh, boots give me critical strike chance? Is that all it does? 101? 130. I could upgrade anything else that, like the hat and hands. Hat and hands, let's see. Hands is 34, so that's better. And hat is better. Definitely better. But it costs more palm embers. Four total. More scales. And four iron bars. 38 and that was 60 something that was yeah definitely better both repeated damage ooh 67 and 34 19 and 38 so yeah I'd like to build those so I need to farm some palm members I kind of ran out oh yeah I need to check weapons here we go iron masterwork stuff iron hauler usage requires ranger level 16 health regeneration plus 12 health 61 what is my attack 47 wow <laughs> Woo. iron masterwork it cost winter fur plus four where did i get winter furs from oh man i don't think i have enough and i did straighten up my chest a slight bit oh i have four all i need is palm embers yeah, I got, I got the winter fur. Yep, I just need six and two. And this is easy to get. 101. What's this one? 101 again. Crossbow. Additional strikes and stri multi-strike chance, 13%. Uh, what about the regular bow? 79. And it costs lumber instead of... Yeah, I'm going to work for this since I already have the winter fur. I can't remember where I got it. I know I got it in a previous episode. I can't remember exactly where I got that at. Alright. Now I've already upgraded this. No, I haven't. Okay, I thought I did. I did upgrade this right here. This cost me 40. I think 30 or 40 uh, basalt. And it was kind of expensive. But on um, Land Lovers Leap, you can, you can farm basalt on Land Lovers. I had to upgrade that so I can get these iron bars. But it's the only thing I upgraded. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of these. Let's do 12. Well, accidentally hit it one once more, but oh well. I haven't upgraded this yet. What's it cost? Four. Okay, so that's four. And this is four. So I need eight there. I don't know about the table outside. This cost four as well. Cost 12 total. And the, um, that bow is six. Yeah, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these iron bars made, and then I'm going to go to Land Lubber's Leap, and we're going to get some palm embers. I like to do some quests in this one. I like to go back to the old islands and finish up quests that might be undone. There needs to be a, uh, a page up here that talks about quests that, are, that you need to do, that you have taken or not have taken. Well, mainly the ones you've taken so you remember which ones you still need to do I would like to see a, a quest page not less it's the map like what is this vacant fair oh that's my island okay I was like what is that I haven't been back there in a while land lovers leaps got an admission what you got nectar of the earth 52 minutes but I need to go to Land Lover's Leap because we need to go get some palm members. Let's go. I'm going to try to fix my channel a little bit more. But if you guys got any suggestions. Because I don't know how to. Like I can make a section. Like make new sections in my. Uh, the home screen on my channel. But I don't know how to name them. Like give it a custom name. Oh and this right here is Basalt. 
Oh yeah, I need to build a uh, new pick, don't I? Because this is copper pick. And if you, uh, every pick will be more powerful so you can dig faster. Well, let's head up here. And we're going to go find us some top palm trees. See, we got quests here to do. Lots of them, actually. Yep, there's some palm trees right here. Um, what I need to do... Empty a hand here. Let's get rid of the healing scrolls, which is probably a bad idea. I don't have an axe. I never made one. Oh, I didn't get a palm member. I don't have double jump anymore, so that's a problem. That works. Palm ember. Yeah, I got one. They're kind of hard to get sometimes. I don't know if the I don't know if those drop palm members. The big, but yeah, that one does. This one, what do you drop? What you drop, man? Ah, it drops palm. Nice. Now I can mine those two, or cut them down. Oh, I didn't want to break that. Target the thing I'm targeting, game. Come on now. Palm oh, ember. Oh, don't fall. Oh, it almost fell. Got him. I think I got plenty of scales. It's not something I'm really worried about. But this is the place to start farming scales from those guys right there, the Syrian dudes. I think I mentioned that in the last episode. So if you want scales, come here. Cause I, don't, I think the landmass changes the way that it looks, but the enemies are pretty much the same there. Lightning scroll, yeah. Lightning zap. Alright, there's some more palm trees down there, there's some up there, they're everywhere. Oh, I don't want that there, man, what are you doing? game all right I need a bunch of oh, nothing I just got chipped no double jump but you can make a too high jump too high block jump though if you hold down the space bar or the jump button on the controller which I think is X on PlayStation I haven't played the PlayStation version in a while. Because so I stopped because I wanted to save anything after the second boss fight for my channel. So anything after the second boss fight is completely new to me. Any islands, any uh, new enemies, bosses, whatever. Even the quests that you get, the little events. These trees need to drop more palm members. So you do get more for using an axe I wonder how many do I got oh I got 10 nice I got 10 we're going to try to get to 15 then that should be enough for everything I need to do because I still need to build armor armor a new pickaxe the masterwork bow and uh, I think that's it right to start with what mining damage flask what did I just oh I, I it was in my fifth fifth key hot bar dang chickens you make it impossible to really break this tree whoa oh it hit me anyways oh the lightning scroll Oh well. Oh well. I usually sell those things. You don't get very much money from them, but but I I gotta remember to show you guys the island I unlocked for our, doing that one event yesterday. It said I had ten hours. Ten hours sounds like a lot of time, but by the time I needed to record again, no, it wasn't enough time. Because it would have been over. As you saw, the mission is no longer there. Because it still shows even though you completed it. These guys could hit you no matter what. And it's really... These guys are not fun to fight. Wait till I get my masterwork bow, guys. 
The iron one? Man, I'll be doing some damage then. Hey, hey dude. Mind that little a little bit X exp. Oh, I can't use double jump no more. I miss it already. I was able to get up there. That's why I only had the one block there. All right, they head this way. See if we can get some more trees. Deforesting. Man, that tree's kind of out precariously on this little ledge here. But if you got any suggestions on how to customize a name for each section on my channel, like you got sections that I can make, like uh, most viewed, most popular videos, uh, specific playlists and stuff as such like that. How do you custom name that those sections? I don't know how to do it. I tried. I can't figure it out. Because I want like first person shooters or uh my board, all my Borderlands uh, less plays or walkthroughs all in one area like one playlist or one section and then do a um, poison spike trap so poison spike trap time one is that one second and a hundred damage just damage to your enemies over time okay neat is there something else I can make? You can break all these to get some blocks, but I'll save those back and break them later. Don't need the blocks at the moment, but I will in the soon because I got my personal island to build. I haven't even started on my personal island. I've been kind of busy lately. Oh, geez. Well, that was a drop. Can I get out? Get me out of here, man. Nope. It's blocking me. Oh, there's a there's something there blocking me. Yup. Yup. Oh, come on, man. You could do it. I believe in you. <laughs> but I just don't. Uh, the thing is, is like I'm trying on my hardest. I don't have money to give like to YouTube or anything to recommend my content. So I have to do this all completely myself, and I've got Facebook, which it seems like I'm ignored on, and on um, I got Twitter, but nobody seems to care. Like I get activity on my uh, like people see my tweet, but they don't seem to care. They don't want to even try to click my stuff. So how do I? What do I do? I mean, how do I get noticed? I, I, that's, that's one point of YouTube that I really don't understand. It's like, how do you get noticed? Is it just something that happens? There's my content that I'm playing, you know, not what everybody wants to see. You know, out of 7 billion people, you know, at least like some people want to see like Portal Knights or Terraria or Starbound or something. It can't be literally everybody in the entire world. So if you guys can help me out there, I'll appreciate it a lot. At least uh, help me figure out how to name, uh, personally name each section. Because I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to that. Aw oh, man, you hit the wrong dude, dude. Let's try to hit the slimes. Well, you can stay down there, dude. Uh, I'm okay with it. Yeah, the worm is uh, like because my level 17. I could say you could probably farm the worm up till level 20, but it might take you some time. Because more you level up, more EXP is required to get to the next level up. And the worm only it still drops only 28, 28.50, give or take. So. It might not be as cost effective anymore at a certain point. Can't believe I found iron so early. It took me forever on PS4 to find iron. I was like, why can I not find iron? It's the next step and I just cannot find it. 
And I think I found it at least like right before the second boss or after the second boss. Good thing I found that level 25 overly difficult ghost world that appeared. What that means is like a um, event appeared where you had to fight ghosts and spiders. And everything was level 25. It was really tough. But I managed to farm enough iron to get myself uh, the masterwork bow. And I can't remember where I got the winter fur. Oh, yeah, it came from that Asian style place, didn't it? That really tough place. It shouldn't be that tough now, but... That event that takes you to where you gotta help the emperor or whatever. That's where I got the winter fur. Wow. And that's gone now. So I have to wait until way later until one of the islands was nice enough to give me winter fur at least I got enough for the master work though I'm playing with that but if it requires me to use winter fur for the um, uh, the armor that I'm SOL if you will well man most likely it takes winter fur for the armor that sucks. I hope not. Let, well, I just have to look and find out. And I don't remember the PS4 version allowing you not to mine if an enemy or a animal is next to... Oh, wow. I got blend plenty now. All right, let's head back to the homestead here or my temporary home until I build mine on my island. Yeah, this place is temporary, and uh, I'm going to do it off-camera. I'm just going to move everything over to the new island when I build my house. Which I, reminds me, I need what I need to do is go back, empty my inventory, except for my weapons and stuff, and go back and open up all barrels and boxes and get all the random blocks out of them. Let's see what I get. I'll do that off-camera. So let's start building my new home. Alright, guys, I am back home. Let's see what I can make. A masterwork long longbow 101 from 47 am i right yeah 47 to 101 huge leap and i get critical strike damage of 16 percent and critical strike chance of 21 nice and nice worth it i'd rather have that damage output over anything else at the moment there we go sorry copper master worth i know i just built you but you'll have to go sometime all right Let's look here. Now, armor. What does it cost for armor? Dead eye. Uh, it costs scales. It costs scales. This right here is not as good as what I already got. And this is not as good as I already got. So, the feet, 130. And this is 104. Actually, the body armor is good. Alright, this where's all my scales here. Where did I put my scales? I sold a bunch of the old equipment to off camera. That's why I got a little bit of money. There they are. Found you. Alright. Now, okay, was the four bars for this? Yes. So I can build any upgrades. Oh, and I got some paintings. I found some paintings. I got a, like a meadow with two trees, and then I got a couple of houses. They were nice. They are nice. Oh, gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a workbench that makes this stuff. Oh, man. I just made this for no reason. Furnace 2. Iron. What does this do, then? Oh, it makes this? Okay. It makes all these things. These are for warrior. Or melee character. Alright, I guess I wasted bars there because I didn't really need any of that, but oh well. Did I already upgrade? The no. This is what I need to upgrade. Durr. Alright, so let's get me some more bars made. Uh, ten. And that chest right here next to the uh, furnace here, this is where I put my bars and whatnot. As you already seen previously. I'm going to find a chest and put this pair of pants up because I don't need them no more. There we go. So the body armor. 
So the body armor, this is an upgrade, this is an upgrade, and this is an upgrade. This is not. Because what I got is already 130, so that's better. But this doesn't even have double jump on it. Mine doesn't either, but oh well. I was hoping that one will. Wanna open that? Oh. And done. Bam. Alright, let's build ourselves some armor. Okay, so everything's an upgrade up here except for pants. Let's go ahead and make that. Make this. And make that. Why does it sound like a marble rolling around? Okay, armor. Or hat. Yep. Bam. Body. Health plus 50. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm at 400 armor. 415 armor. This is not upgradable. This I found off the... This uh, cape came off the boss. The worm. I think you guys already saw, saw that get dropped. And I got the ring. So nothing on vanity. Alright. More powerful now. Awesome. And I kind of have like that. That hat looks. <laughs> and in my honest opinion. It looks like somebody pooped on my head. Alright. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade this table so I can make the next pickaxe. Level 3. Yeah. Alright. Iron pickaxe. Here we go. Right there. A resource scanner. Reacts to rare gems and ores. Basalt sharpening stones. Cost 2 basalt each for 1. Iron mining drill. Effective mines dirt. Lumber axe. Okay. What is this? So this is 14. Eight. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and make it. I'd rather mine a little bit faster than none at all. Uh, there we go. We have been successfully upgraded. We got the new bow. So let's go ahead and put all this stuff up. Do I have any extra iron bars on me? Yes, I got one. I'll put. I still got some of these, so I'm going to let those run out a bit before I use that. And we'll put that in there for now. Put scales in there. I want more winter fur. That's something that I think I need later on. I need to put away all this other junk. Extra. Welcome to resource management. Probably the worst part of any RPGs is doing this right here, just putting the stuff up. Actually, I'm just going to sell all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and sell my pickaxe. Uh, hallway pistol, I do have one in here, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just trying to find stuff I can sell. I'm going to keep the cape. There's my one of my deeds. I'm going to sell these uh, mage weapons. Which I do not need. I know these palm leaves actually have a use later on. I just don't know when or what exactly. Anything under this line right here I guess I can sell. Except for this gym. I'm going to just try to put away some of this stuff and move on. Oh, I got a sweet potato. Oh. Okay. This chest suck. I know iron makes a better, a bigger chest. But I don't want to waste my iron right now. Okay, that puts away some stuff. Oh, and the worm dropped me five of these. Alright, we're going to sell what's here. Except for this coal, of course. Which needs to go over here because it's part of my forge. There we go. Alright, let's go to, I'll show you guys this island. This has a, uh, you can build on it, you can make it your home if you wanted to. And there's no enemy spawns. And there's a building there that has three shops. Maybe four, I think it's only three. Isle of Toblas. 
And this place was dangerous. I died here once because I fell off. Because the building is off in that direction. You see the three shops. And uh, the way they have that island is separated from this main island. So it's just this lone island out there with a building on it. And I had to build out to it and I fell off at one point. Now I'd like to go back to that green place, the poisonous looking place where I got the iron. Open up the portals there so I can move on and see what else we can find. That's something I would like to do. Alright. Now here's my bridge I built. As you can see I built a bridge across. And I fell off here, so I did this high piece here on both sides as a rail to keep me from falling off. And then it goes down, stairs, there's your building. And this place sells armor. Not this, this one. There's three different levels. Okay, so this one's mid-level. Alright, I think this is mid-level. And you got three different types. You got your ranger, you got your mage, and you got your aura warrior. And if I look at uh, this stuff, yeah, it's level 24. So this is level 24 stuff. And it's actually quite nice and very expensive. They're pretty much like sets, if you think of it in the Diablo sense. This one's the lowest here, I think. And level 4, yep, these are the lowest here, here. And then the, the middle tier is in this building right here. This is level 16, I think, or 15. Yep, or 14. So this is middle tier. So you can have three different tiers. The highest being 24. And that's what's on this island after doing the trials. Which is the three trials. This is just a top piece up here above the level 24 tier. But yeah, you get this island and the rest of that big island over there you can build on anything you want. You can make set this as your home as you look right here. Click on it, you can set as home. So you can do whatever you hear. Alright, let's move on to, what is this again? Nectar of the Earth. What is that? Do I have to kill something? I wanted to do some quests but I'm running out of time. This was pretty much the upgrade episode. We are upgraded though. We are upgraded. So it's worth it. I got new bow, new armor, new pickaxe. We are set. Alright, where is this nectar of the earth thing? Um, I have no idea. Is there a new building spawn somewhere? I was here earlier when I was doing the trees and I didn't see nothing. I'm uh, missing something. Craft and mining damage flash using the maggot temporary special drops. Temporary special drops. Oh, look at that damage. Guys, look at that. That critical is like... It is awesome. Ow. Dude, at least they're not hurting me a lot because before they were doing a massive damage. What's up there? I'm curious. I gotta go find out. Build stairs out of dirt. Any Minecraftian does that, right? Or any uh, open world survival game. Always use dirt for building. Break the farmer. Alright, so next episode, what I want to do is I'm going to pretty much do quests mainly and maybe move on to a new island towards the end of the episode. I'm going to start quest here since I got a little bit of time. I've heard about you. You bested the ancient worm, didn't you? Nah. A Syrian mage shattered my copper bow. Oh, you want me to make you a copper bow? Could you help me make another? You know, I still have mine on me right now. You know that, don't you? I knew I could count on you. Everyone said so. Well, it doesn't count. Mine doesn't count. 
Maybe it does if I repair it. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Does it count? This is a copper bow. No, it's a masterwork. Oh, no. Dang it. Well, it shouldn't be hard to make a copper bow. So let's go back to Homestead. Or temporary Homestead. Let's go build us a copper bow. It's easy. Oh, I left a whole bunch of EXP down there. Oh. Hope it's still there when I come back. I left two nuggets of EXP and a yellow portal shard. I don't know how I missed it, because I thought I walked down there, but oh well. Can't skimp on the EXP, you know. Alright, make a copper bow, which I need copper bars, which I need literally everything. How much does it cost, and what does it cost exactly? Uh, go down to AR Station. Uh, copper bow, it costs two, one amber. And I got the wood. Amber was over here. Two. One, wait, 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 need this. I did not want to do that. I uh, need this. Furnace one. It's always something in it. It's always something. One bar. One bar to rule them all. Me and my bad singing. Blah. Alright, so let's make that copper. Copper bowl. There you go. Bam. Forgot that was like that was a masterwork copper bowl and I already sold my copper bow. So yay. Alright, let's put away the amber. And then head back. Land lovers light. Oh yeah, what was that what do you get from the worms? Nectar of the Earth. I actually don't remember what you get from the maggots. There's some amber in there I need to get rid of. This doesn't come from the worms. I actually don't know. What is this? Fire spirit? No. It might not be able to do this uh, mission. Magic damage, damage flask. Did I have a mining damage flask? That I got for free somewhere? Or do I actually have to craft it? Armor flask, no. Magic damage flask, which needs to go over there. Yeah, my inventory or my chest need to be fixed still. I sold a bunch of stuff, but it still needs to be fixed. It looks like poo poo. Alright, let's go back and give him his copper bow. Yeah, I might have to skip that mission. Alright, Mr. Dude. Is my EXP still there? Oh. Oh, 281. Nice. Hey, man. Ouch. And I got stuck on her. Thank you. Thanks, character. NPC. It's not very nice that I get stuck on you. Eat me some shroom. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. You really are everything they say you are. 2,000 EXP. Wow, that's almost as much as the worm gives you. Wow. Only 85 gold, though. But that EXP is worth it. Oh, yeah. See, these quests are definitely worth it if you want to level up. Uh, my, I have enough time to start one more quest. Just start. Yeah. Thanks for helping us out with the trainee. We've got a little problem of our own on our hands, actually. Why'd I say that like that? 
We're supposed to throw a big party for the new graduate, but our stash of turnip juice got robbed by fallen pirates. Can you get it back from here? From them? You might also find some of it buried around the island. That kind of lost our map. We kind of lost our map. Sure. Phew. Thanks. We've really got our hands full with the upcoming pirate obstacle course. It's 50% of a student's grade. Wow. And I think you gotta go... Not, no, not down there. No. That's where the anchor was. I think there is a dungeon somewhere around here that you go... It's inside one of the buildings. Not in there. I think it's upstairs. Somewhere. I remember there's a dungeon entrance somewhere around here. I can't remember exactly where it's at. I doubt it's all the way up here. No. It's in one of these buildings. I'm going to see if I can find that before ending the episode. And next episode we'll be starting back at that location. Hopefully. Because you go into the dungeon. And that's where all the uh, fallen pirates are. The skeletons. And those guys are a little bit different than the big skeletons we met previously. They do an extra attack. And I got my butt kicked on the PS4 edition several times by them because the attack. Hey, where is this place? Oh, I think this is it. Yep, yeah, right here. Here's the entrance to the dungeon. If you find a guy named Tew, T E W, now he's usually always in front of this dungeon entrance. Let's go ahead and go down. And we're going to finish off killing one Skelly. If we can find Skelly. Those guys with the guns are down here. And they do more damage to me than anything else. Those dudes. Oh, I got him before he got me. He was about to fire, though. Why is it missing so much? You know, if you don't miss... And I didn't roll. Alright, there's the skeletons I was talking about. Uh, these are the fallen pirates. And these guys do special attacks like that right there. And that's what killed me the most. Was that jump attack. But if you roll into them, because you don't have any hit detection or collision. There's one turn of juice. If you don't, uh, because you don't have any hit, uh, like a uh, character hit detection or a collision. You can just roll through them right before they do their attack, and then they just jump right over you. But you do some practice first before committing to that a technique that I use. And that attack does a lot of damage. It was taking four hearts, I think. So yeah, those that they their attacks here do a bunch of damage when you first get here. So be real careful. How much turnip juice do I need? Why am I still on that mission? How do I go to not that mission but the other mission? Travel the home island. See this one top of they need a mission screen. So you can choose what they like to track a certain mission instead of just have whatever the game wants to throw at you. So I'm not going to do the Nectar of the Earth thing. Hey, Skelly. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, online system error. What? Did my internet die? I think my internet died. Alright guys, I think that was the end of that episode. Well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that last subscribe button and join today. And uh, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that uh, like button to show you support. And uh, next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon up here. You hit that bell icon and you'll become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. But when you hit that, everything I upload you won't miss because you'll get notifications for it if YouTube allows it. Alright guys, well, hope uh, I don't have any more internet problems in the future. And y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.